tall, toothy, and terrifying, millions of years ago, these beasts roamed Mongolia. Many are unique to the Central Asian nation, which can lay claim to more than a few paleontology breakthroughs. First evidence is that a dinosaur, it's a laying eggs, was discovered in Mongolia. It was an American third Asian expedition through that in Mongolia, in the Gobi. According to UNESCO, Mongolia's vast Gobi Desert is the world's biggest fossil reservoir. But keeping them here has proven tricky. The larger of the two fossils behind me is the museum's oldest exhibit, the Tabasaurus Bata. It was stolen in 2008, smuggled out of Mongolia in coal containers to China before being shipped to Japan, the UK, and finally the United States. In 2012, it was almost auctioned off in New York, but a year later, authorities returned it home. Hishikjag Sogbata was one of the scientists who went to verify the 70 million year old fossil belonged to Mongolia, resulting in US customs repatriating it. Since then, Mongolian laws were strengthened to protect other dinosaur fossils from being smuggled. Because of the noise made from this case, the government of Mongolia paid close attention to this issue. Our laws were weak, and the penalties were small before, but it was renewed since. The new law took effect July the 1st, 2014, stopping illegal excavations. International cooperation to return dinosaur bones smuggled in the past is also growing. In 2013 alone, more than 22 trafficked fossils returned to the country, many now on display at the new Central Museum of Mongolian Dinosaurs. It's sad for me to think that so many of these artifacts have been illegally smuggled out of Mongolia, but it's also comforting to know that many have been recently returned, and that's good news. In 2015, Hollywood actor Nicolas Cage agreed to return a rare Tyrannosaurus barter skull bought for $276,000 in an L.A. gallery. If all goes to plan, that national treasure will be home soon, too. Grace Brown, TRT World, Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia.